Hello, my Scorpio friends, and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your 12 Zodiac uh, read, as well as a three-month prediction read at the end. If this doesn't resonate, make sure you check your moon, rising, and Venus as well. And thank you, thank you for continuously supporting me on my channel. All right, Spirit says we're ready. Scorpio, your guys' uh, overall energy for... Um, the next three months is the three of wands, um, waiting for your blessings to come in, um, waiting for somebody to move closer to you. Um, it could be a number of things. So we will see how it relates to each Zodiac. If you are a Scorpio dealing with an Aries, uh, there is the high priestess secrets coming out. Um, this person, their intuition is off. They could be making judgments or decisions, um, that are in, based on inaccurate, uh, their in intuition not being accurate. Um, I do see, however, that you guys will get um, through this if you both choose to work through it and work on it, and it will um, make it through the end of the year if that's what you choose. Um, if you are a Scorpio dealing with Libra, the Seven of Wands, this person is very defensive, very on edge. They have a wall up. They're guarding their heart. Um, they're not letting you in very easy. Um, you are the one that is interested in this Taurus. They, are, however, are just getting out of a um, serious commitment and aren't quite ready for um, to jump right in with somebody else just yet. I do see, however, for some of you uh, Scorpios down the road with this these Taurus individuals, um, it will be one of success. You consider them a blessing. Um, you just have to give them time to heal and allow them to take that wall down in their own time. Yeah. Gemini, the seven of pentacles in reverse. So if you are dealing with a Gemini, they are growing impatient, um, waiting for you or you waiting for them, but, um, they're not, they're not working on healing. They're not working on they're not working on this connection either. I, I don't see it working out um, through the end of the year with a Gemini. Cancer has the eight of pentacles in reverse. So um, they're uh, neglecting some, they're neglecting the work it takes to make this a success as well. Um, they could have just lost a job also. So um, making it um, delay them moving closer to you. Um, if you give this person time in their own time, they will come towards you. And this can be successful if, if it's a connection that you both want. Yeah. Leo's 10 of Pentacles. Hello. So Leo and Scorpio, you guys, um, you guys make a perfect combination. Uh, you guys are financially stable. You have a family, children. Uh, you guys are very family oriented. Um, just much success, everything you want and more. Uh, it's the white picket fence and two and a half children with a cat and a dog. But yeah, this is, this is a very happy home. So if you are a Scorpio connecting with a Leo, you will find success in this relationship throughout the end of the year and into 2019. Virgos. They have the hanged man. So um, you're waiting for them to come towards you, Scorpios, and they are uh, taking a time out. They are taking a step back and healing their self as well as deciding what it is that they want, what their next step is going to be in what direction they want to move in. Um, I don't see uh, this connection coming uh, to fruition within the next couple months. Um, this Virgo has a lot of healing to do and will be in this position for uh, quite some time, uh, possibly right after the first of the year. Yeah, Libras, um, the Eight of Cups in reverse. So if you are a Scorpio connecting with a Libra, they are refusing to move forward on the path that they're meant to be on. You're waiting for them to make this choice. You're waiting for them to start um, out on their spiritual journey and they're hunkered down wherever with whoever that they're at at this moment. Um, for another group of you, they are refusing to acknowledge their emotions from her of the past. 
they don't know whether to move forward, whether to look backwards. So they're just hunkered down where they're at. They will awaken to, um, to movement. So, um, be patient in the next eight weeks, they will start to move forward. Yeah. All right. Sagittarius, the Prince of Swords in reverse. So this person, um, they're taking their time. They've been hurt in the past. They're not quite sure that, um, you Scorpio, uh, can provide all that you're promising. They want real love. They want stability. They want, um, somebody that they don't have to question if they're going to be true to them. And they're not quite sure if what you say they can trust. So give them time um, over time and proving uh, what it is that you say is what is real. They will come towards you and this will be successful. Capricorn. Here comes the sun. Um, you guys are, uh, something in your life is being brought to light. It's being illuminated, your path. Um, you're going to go against what everyone thinks and says, and you're following your heart and, um, you are coming in towards <coughs> this Scorpio. Yeah, for sure. That's so beautiful. This is a divine partnership as well. This is guided by the sun, by the universe. They are, um, helping you in your direction and you are throwing caution to the wind and they are following their heart, um, Scorpio. So if you are connecting with a Capricorn, beautiful connection, amazing energy, and they will, this will, uh, work out through the end of the year and much longer after that. Yeah. All right. Aquarius, the queen of pentacles. So, um, this Aquarius is very stable, loving, nurturing. Um, it's kind of like the mother hen energy. Um, if you are, um, interested in females, they, they kind of take care of everybody. Their house is the house everyone goes to, um, after school, you know, they only have one kid, but there's 18 kids that call her mom type of energy. That's the beautiful energy of this person. She's very nurturing, loving, and would, and would take very good care of nurturing this relationship. Um, if you are, uh, a male Capricorn, there's somebody in your energy, um, that is an earth sign that is trying to talk you out of this connection with this Scorpio. Make sure you're following your own heart and making your own decisions because this is a successful connection that will last a very long time. It's true. It's uh, stable and it's most loving and nurturing. Yeah. Pisces. If you are a Scorpio dealing with a Pisces, um, at one time you thought this relationship was um, emotionally fulfilling, balanced, and equal give and take of love. But uh, your Pisces is just feeling drained. They're, they're no longer feeling the connection of uh, the two of you that you once shared. Um, I do see this relationship ending in the next couple months. Um, there's just not enough uh, love and attraction to keep the connection going. Uh, for this next spread, the first card will be you, Scorpio. The second card will be whoever you're connecting with. The third card is your shared energy. The bottom of the deck is Spirit's Prediction for the next three months. Um, this will not resonate with everybody. I This message is for the collective or those who need to hear it most. If it doesn't resonate, um, check out your other signs. All right. Scorpios. Your card, the King of Cups. Whoever you're connecting with, the lovers in reverse. Your shared energy, the Four of Swords in reverse. Okay, I'm going to get a clarifier for this major arcana here. Whoa. So um, I went ahead and pulled a clarifier for each um, just because I consider the court cards uh, not major arcana, but I consider them uh, important energy. So here you guys are, Scorpio. You guys have a lot of um, love, respect, admiration for somebody, um, though you're feeling like there's no victory, there's no future within this connection. Um, 
there could be some, uh, there could be some deceit that was done towards you. And I say that because the lovers is in reverse and the devil is here. So, um, could be dealing with a Gemini or a Capricorn. Yes. Uh, but you're not feeling victory, even though you have a lot of love for this person. Um, so I do feel that this person deceived you in some way. Um, and they're not choosing this connection. Um, they are going to walk away because they feel, um, either this relationship is toxic or they are the toxic one. They are the one that has addictions or, um, obsessions or, uh, overindulging in something. There's just, there's a toxic, uh, energy around this person. So that's why you know that there's no victory here. Even though you love them, you wish them well, but you know that this can't be successful, not with this energy um, in your space. They, it is calling for, um, sorry, my bad. It is in the four sources in reverse. So you have taken a lot of time to think about this. Um, you hadn't rushed into anything. Um, you took your time. You really thought it through. You made decisions that you thought were the best for you and moving forward. And you just really took your time and you really tried to see things from all perspective, all views, but you still feel that this can't be successful with this kind of energy in your space. Spirits three month um, prediction card. Yes. The 10 of swords in reverse with the five of swords under it. So um, yeah, you were betrayed. This person was the ultimate, uh, did something with the ultimate betrayal, um, something that was toxic to this relationship, something that hurt you really bad. And that's why, you know, there's no success here, even though you love them very much, but you didn't rush into this decision. You really took your time. Um, but you are coming to the end of the cycle with this person. You are not there yet, but you will be very, very soon within the next 10 weeks. I do see this cycle closing you moving forward and dealing with, with, um, the healing after that. So Scorpios, that is what I have for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed your reading and as always, I send you love, light, and God bless.